Welcome to my channel A Woman in Physics and welcome back to my mini-series Looking Up. What did I discover this time that might be worth your attention during the upcoming nights? This year, from mid-March to early April, all stargazers around the world can take part in an exciting challenge, the Messier Marathon. If you have Never heard about it? Let's start simple. What are Messier objects? Well, about 250 years ago, the French astronomer Charles Messier was known to be obsessed with finding comets. So he compiled for himself basically a list of deep sky objects that could have been mistaken for comets in order to avoid interfering with his observations. His list included nebulae, star clusters and even galaxies. And in 1774, Messier published the first version of his catalog containing 45 items. But later he expanded the list to 110 items. These 110 deep sky objects are known today as the Messier objects. You can check out this beautiful interactive map of the Messier objects created by NASA. Of course, there is a little catch. Charles Messier lived in France. Hence, his list includes solely those objects that can be seen from a specific part of the Northern Hemisphere. Therefore, for example, the large and small Magellanic clouds, which are only visible from the Southern Hemisphere, are naturally missing on this list. But what is now the so-called Messier Marathon? The idea of this special marathon sounds simple at first. Observe as many objects from the Messier catalog as possible within one night. And there it is where it starts to get a bit stressful. You are supposed to observe all 110 objects or at least as many as possible within a couple of hours. But yes, it is possible as Gary Radley from Arizona proved in 1985. But for most people around the world, such a mission will be basically impossible, since, as I mentioned, not all objects can be observed from every place on Earth. Even on the, say, Northern Hemisphere, it will be complicated. Now, the ideal locations for the marathon are in northern latitudes, somewhere roughly between 10 degrees and 25 degrees north. And the optimal time? Well, that is usually from mid-March to early April, so right now. On the other hand, if you happen to live in the Southern Hemisphere, don't be fully discouraged. You can see quite a number of Messier objects, but not all of them. Now, there is one final question. What do you need to take part in the Messier Marathon? Of course, you can take part in the marathon even if you do not have any astronomical equipment or experience. Since most of the Messier objects are visible to the naked eye. So you can observe the Orion Nebula, which is the Messier object number M42. You can see the Pleiades star clusters, M45, even the great globular star clusters in Hercules, M13, and the Andromeda galaxy, M31. However, if you are very serious about discovering as many deep sky objects as possible within one night, you will need to make more preparations. First, you need an observation device, good binoculars with a magnification of at least 20 times or an amateur telescope will do. Second, 
you need to know in advance in which order you will be looking at the different objects as different objects can be seen at different parts of the night. And finally, in order to prepare yourself, let me remind you again that you can find this beautiful interactive map on messy objects created by NASA, which will help you actually find your way in the sky. And with this, I really hope that it may inspire you to explore the fantastic world above us a bit more. And as always, I'll keep my fingers crossed that you have the perfect conditions for stargazing. So have fun.